as we are joined now by the new starting point guard of the Phoenix Suns. How about that? How does that sound? Sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> First Hi, it's great to have day, you here. Yeah. Though, is, is, a, is a Phoenix Suns member. Uh, how is it, how's it been going for you so far? It's been, it's been great. Um, so far, so good. Uh, excited to be here. Uh, yeah, first one in Phoenix, so I'm looking forward to it. And I know those discussions happen right away as far as you being the starting point guard, but I find it really interesting and powerful, too, that Coach Bud has come out and said, this is my starting five. Let's, let's go to training camp. Everybody knows their roles because they're like, oh, who's going to come off the bench? Who was starting last year? What yeah. did that mean for you, for Coach Bud to go, no, here are the keys, yeah. take off? It's huge. It's huge as a point guard, um, being comfortable, um, is an important factor. Um, you got to be an extension of coach out there on the court. So your guys' relationship, um, first and foremost, has to be on point. Um, but yeah, it also I think, you know, what people aren't necessarily um, maybe maybe they're for you know not not realizing is we have so many different guys that can start, and so I think that speaks to the depth that we have um, on this roster, and it's a it's a good problem to have. Um, but, yeah, just um, having that, that clarity, um, you know, for myself, um, you know, for guys uh, with, you know, with their roles, I think it's huge. And, um, but at the end of the day, we're all here for, for one goal. And um, no matter who starts, who finishes games, um, you know, how many shots, you know, you get, it's, it's about um, winning at the end of the day. And that's what everyone's trying to do. You had said during your introduction press or, you know, what drew you to this team relationships. You know, I know Josh Bartlestein, that was something that he was really heavily involved in in the high care factor. Yeah. You're also, you know, joining your former teammate, Grayson Allen. Yep. Uh, how has the off season been for you two communication wise and yeah. getting set for tomorrow? Yeah, it's been huge. Um, back with G. I'm excited about that. Um, he played a huge part in um, recruiting me, uh, honestly, just um, – calling me um i came down here for a visit um you spend a lot of time with him i um, just talking through different stuff you know with the team um he he came out right away and, and said you know look i want you to come here and start um if that means me coming off the bench like don't worry about that wow. um so you know that just speaks to his character um and that's that's part of the you know guy and player he is he's team first um always has been uh, always will be um but, yeah, for me it's exciting just because we have a, a great chemistry um, on the court, off the court. Uh, that's my brother. Um, has been for 10-plus years now. <laughs> um, it's crazy to say. Um, and I'm looking forward to, to sharing the court with him again because um, I know, you know, we can be dynamic. Do you get tired of hearing the assist to turnover stat, even though, like, you now own that category? <laughs> I mean, my problem is – I've been researching this since I did the game last year against Washington. And yeah. I think I had you at six seasons of leading it. And I thought now maybe you're at seven. Then in the Forbes magazine, they said five straight seasons. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's mm -hmm. a new NBA record because yeah. Chris Paul led in assist to turnover ratio four times. You've already beaten that. What, what does it mean for you to go into season and to have a reputation like that with a new team? Yeah. And also how important it is because I think you even give so much credit to your mom yeah like how protecting her purse I think was something like you used <laughs> as an analogy yeah it's uh you know for me as a as a point guard it's just a point guard mindset um not turning the ball over it goes back to yeah honestly my mom you know continued to teach me the game when I was younger um as a point guard just don't turn the ball over that's something that you have to value value each possession um you know typically the team with the least amount of turnovers um, wins the game, but they, they definitely have a higher chance of winning the game if you get, you know, more shots, more possessions, things like that. Um, so for me, it's just been something that I've always kind of prided myself on and, um, you know, setting the record every year or however many seasons in a row it's been, that's not, you know, the goal per se for me, but um, I also do pride myself on not turning the ball over and trying to make sure we get quality looks um, more often than not. And, um, you know, whatever numbers come with it, come with it. I try not to, you know, it seems as whenever someone, you know, gets a chance to tell me throughout the season, you know, you have a stretch of this many games without a turnover or this many minutes. I always have one probably pretty soon in that next game. Just so it's, it's something that I don't, I try not to pay attention to, yeah. but I just show up every night and try to, uh, you know, give our, our team the best chance of, of winning. One number I do know is correct, because I actually back-checked this, was 66 games with the Wizards. Obviously, a young team, kind of loose at times, but you as the direct 66 games that you played, mm -hmm. 66 turnovers. That's that's insane. That's, <laughs> that's just crazy. It's anyway, probably a, a 
a few too many. <laughs> um, probably yeah, a few too many. I Mom's know not happy there's, with that. There's some of those that yeah. I, can, I can watch back and All say, right. ah, got to right, be you better. You are a perfectionist. <laughs> Try to be. Try to be. Entering training camp tomorrow, and, you know, expectations are that you are running the point. What is the, I guess, keys for you learning your teammates yeah. and, and kind of developing that chemistry quickly? I know you have already that relationship with Grace and Allen, but the other key guys as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, just spending time um, on and off the court with the guys, um, trying to study their games. Um, been here the last couple of weeks, so being in the gym with them, just uh, asking a bunch of questions. Uh, for me, I'm just trying to, um, you know, ask Book, ask Katie, ask Brad, ask the rest of the guys, like, um, you know, where they like the ball, um, what side of the floor they like to, you know, be on, you know, which way or, you know, what are they looking for in, in this situation. Um, stuff like that. So just trying to, you know, pick their brains and just um, pay attention to everything um, so it can make my job easier and so I can be better at my job. And also, uh, you know, they we have so much talent that um, I'm going to be doing a little bit, being a little bit different of a role as well. I'm doing some different things from a point guard standpoint that um, I might not have done a whole lot of. And that's, you know, good for me as well to continue to, to elevate my game and continue to help me grow as a player. Um, as well. So I'm looking forward to that and, uh, you know, just looking forward to, uh, you know, continue to grow our chemistry. It takes time. It's not going to happen overnight. But um, the great thing about all of these guys is everyone's, a, you know, basketball purist. They love basketball. They love the game. We're in the gym. We're talking about the game. We're talking about ways to get better. So, um, you know, the chemistry will come. Not only do the Suns have one point guard, they have two with Monte Morris. Yeah. What's that relationship like? Do you guys sit down with the playbook and kind of talk strategy and figure out how each of you are going to kind of play off of each other? Yeah, me and Tay have known each other um, just from playing against each other the last few, you know, few years and um, looking forward to continuing to push each other um, to, to improve, get better. Uh, we have similar play styles, um, so that's also great just because we, you know, we look at the game very similar. Um, you know, we approach the game very similar. Um, and so, yeah, we, we sit down, we talk about what each other, you know, may, might have seen on that last play or might be looking for, things like that. And, um, you know, we'll continue to do so throughout the year. And uh, it's, it's nice having, a, you know, another point guard on the team who approaches the game, you know, like you do. You've seen playbooks. How big is Bud's? Big, normal? Like, um, you know? I'm going to keep that, keep yeah. that in-house. <laughs> uh, I'll keep that in-house. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, Tyus. Well, great to see you again. We can't wait to have training camp start tomorrow. You're yes. going to be seeing a lot of us at for all the sure, practices. Sure. So. That sounds great. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah. Thanks, Tyus. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.